morning, everyone. This is Pastor Dan here with devotions again for today. And uh, so if you are able, I would just encourage you to take a moment to step aside from whatever it is you're doing and uh, take a couple deep breaths. And uh, yeah, just uh, take a moment to listen to the invitation that God has for us today. From John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Our Bible song for today comes from Psalm 82. God presides in the great assembly. He gives judgment among the gods. How long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. The gods know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. But you will die like mere mortals. You will fall like every other ruler. Rise up, O oh God, and judge the earth. For all the nations are your inheritance. And our Bible reading comes from Luke 24, verses 44 to 49. He said to them, that is, Jesus, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead, and on the third day, on the third day, excuse me, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. I don't know what stood out for you. Um, I hope whatever it is, you will be able to sort of mentally, spiritually, emotionally uh, chew on it all day long. For me, what stood out was um, we've heard in the, in the media and various places um, some, some folk who, who claim to be Christ followers, and I'm not saying they're not. I don't know what's in their hearts. But we've heard people talking about COVID-19 as a judgment upon various people or people groups. And, and often the finger pointing seems to go um, towards morality, moral failures in our society, and particularly um, to sexuality. And... That's just not, that's just not real. It's not, not true. Certainly the Bible does talk about sexual morality, absolutely. But when God sends judgments, he sends them in a way that punishes those who are actually um, guilty. Um, and so... He would send war and famine and so on against folks who were doing terrible things. But the problem is, is that almost always in scriptures, it's not about sexuality. 
It's about oppression. It's about upholding the cause of the poor and the oppressed. It's about rescuing the weak and the needy. It's about delivering them from the hand of the wicked. God doesn't get most angry about these sexual sins. God gets most angry about the oppression, about defending the unjust, about showing partiality to the wicked, the people who are doing the oppression, about not defending the weak and the fatherless. That's what God really cares about. Not that he doesn't care about other things. He does, but over and over and over again, God talks about how terrible it is when his people oppress the needy and the weak and the widow and the orphan. And so when Jesus comes back to the disciples and says, you will be witnesses of these things and you will preach the good news uh, of repentance for the forgiveness of sins in his name to all nations, he is bringing good news of great joy that mean that we don't have to oppress people anymore. Not that we had to oppress people anymore, but we can be free of oppressing people. We can be free of putting down the poor and the impoverished. We can be free of, of biases in favor of the wicked. We can be, we can be free of following gods of this world. That's what stands out to me. Let's pray. God of grace, the gospel is like a key that opens up all heaven and unlocks dead bolted human hearts. As you send your church to declare the good news, remind us that we carry a key and not a hammer. Convince us that the gentle gospel promises fit the, cont the contours of human life, opening minds to know <clears throat> and receive the forgiveness of sins through what Jesus has done. Today, unbolt my heart to accept the grace of Jesus. Amen. Receive God's blessing. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.